Hello everyone, hello my students. Today we will study solving quadratic inequalities. We studied before solving inequalities of the first degree, but today we will use the sign of the function to solve the quadratic inequalities. So let's start. Solving quadratic inequalities in one variable. The following inequalities we studied before x minus 1 is greater than 0 to x plus 3 is greater than or equal 0. 2 times x minus 1 is less than 5 times x plus plus 2 and 2 times x minus 1 is great is less than or equal 5 times x plus 2 are inequalities of the first degree in one variable which is x but guys the following inequalities we will study x squared plus 2x minus 8 is greater than 0 and x squared plus x minus 6 is greater than 0 are inequalities of the second degree in one variable why guys because the greatest power of the variable x is 2 so the inequality here of the second degree solving the inequality means what guys means finding all values of x which satisfy or verify the inequality and written in the form of an interval steps of solving an equality we have three steps the first one guys write the quadratic function related to the inequality it's easy number two guys we studied before determine the sign of the quadratic function we studied before last lesson number three finally write the interval which satisfies the inequality it's easy example solve the inequality x squared minus 5x plus 6 is greater than zero do you remember step one guys write the related function f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 step 2 is what guys just find the sign of the function to find the sign of the quadratic function we studied before just calculate the discriminant to find the discriminant just write the coefficient a equals 1 b equals negative 5 and c equals 6 don't forget a is a coefficient of x squared b is a coefficient of x c is absolute value now the discriminant do you remember the expression yes b squared minus 4ac b squared minus 4ac it will be negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times the value of c equals 6 now equals 1 you can use calculate 1 is greater than 0 it's positive now we have two real roots or two different roots to find the two roots just both of fx equals 0 we get x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 by factorizing the left hand side we get x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 0. We have two numbers, their product is 6 and their sum is 5. Don't forget the sign of the two numbers have the same sign of the middle term we studied before. From the first bracket x equals 2, from the second x equals 3. Now we have two roots, 2 and 3. Don't forget guys, at x equals 2 and at x equals 3. They will be opened guys, not shaded. Why? Because the sign is greater than. Don't forget, at x equals 2, at x equals 3, the sign or f of x, it will be 0. Now, at the right, we have positive. At the left, we have positive. But between the two roots, we studied before that the sign of the function, it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared a equals 1 it's positive it will be negative now because it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared now we can find it step 3 to set the solution set of the inequality the inequality guys x squared minus 5x plus 6 is greater than 0 greater than 0 means what means the positive interval the positive interval from negative infinity to 2 and from 3 to positive infinity now we can say that the solution set is r which is the real numbers different the interval closed it will be 2 comma 3 because at x equals 2 and at x equals 3 f of x equals 0 so don't forget to close this interval we can write the solution set as the union of the two intervals negative infinity comma 3 and 2 comma negative infinity second example solve the inequality x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Step 1 guys, just write the related function. f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Step 2 guys is what? Just find the sign of the function. a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals negative 8. We studied before. To find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, it will be negative 2 squared minus 4 times the value of a which is 1 times the value of c which is negative 8. Now, 
b squared minus 4ac equals 36. 36 is greater than 0, it's positive. Now we have the two roots are two different roots. To find the two roots, just the bottom of x equals 0. We get guys that x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Factorize the left hand side as x minus 2 times x plus 4. We get x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. We have two numbers. Their product is 8 and their difference is 2. The greater one guys have the same sign of the middle term. Don't forget. Draw the number line at x equals what guys? Negative 4 and 2. f of x equals 0 we studied before. They will be opened by the way. Between them guys, between the two roots, the sign of the function it will be negative sign. Why? Because it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared. But at the right we have positive. At the left we have positive. Now guys the inequality x squared plus 2x minus 8 is greater than 0 means positive. So we can write the solution set as or difference the interval negative 4 comma 2. And we can write the solution set as a union of the two intervals negative infinity comma negative 4 2 comma positive infinity. Let's have another example solve the inequality number 1 negative x squared plus x minus 1 is greater than 0. Number 2 x squared minus 5x plus 6 is less than 0. Step 1 guys write the related function. It will be f of x equals negative x squared plus x minus 1. Step 2 find the sign of the function. Write the coefficients a, b and c. a equals negative 1, b equals 1, c equals negative 1. b squared minus 4 is e, the discriminant it will be negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times negative 1 equals negative 3. It will be negative means less than 0. Now guys we have no real roots. We can say that the sign of the function it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x squared. So it will be negative. Now we can say that the solution set equals what guys equals phi. Why? Because the inequality is negative x squared plus x minus 1 is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means positive. So we have no positive intervals. We can say that the solution set equals phi because the sign of the function, it will be negative. Number two, x squared minus five x plus six is less than zero. The related function, it will be f of x equals x squared minus five x plus six. Now find the discriminant. A equals one, B equals negative five, and C equals six. The discriminant B squared minus four AC, we studied before, equals negative five squared minus 4 times the value of a it will be 1 value of c it will be 6 it will be 1 1 is positive means greater than 0 now we have two roots to find the two roots just bottom of x equals 0 we get guys x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 by factorization we have x minus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0 we get x equals 2 and x equals 3 draw the number line at x equals 2 and 3 be attention they will be over f of x equals 0. Between them guys the sign of the function it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is positive because a equals 1. So it will be negative between the two roots. At the right it will be the opposite sign it will be positive. At the left it will be positive. The inequality guys x squared minus 5x plus 6 is less than 0. Less than 0 means what? Means a negative. So the function is negative between the two roots 2 and 3. So the solution set is the open interval 2 comma 3. Let's have another example. Solve the inequality. Number 1, x squared is greater than or equal for x minus 4. Number 2, 5 minus 2x is less than x squared. First guys, write the related function. To write the related function here, just move the right hand side which is 4x and the negative 4 to the other side to be subtracted or to be added. We get f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Just move 4x to the other side to be negative and the negative 4 to be positive. Now write the related function of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now find the discriminant a equals 1, b equals negative 4, and c equals 4. b squared minus 4 is c equals negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. It will be 0. Now guys we have just one root or two equal roots. To find the two equal roots 
just the put off of x equals 0. We get x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. The expression x squared minus 4x plus 4 is perfect trinomial expression. We can factorize it as x minus 2 all squared equals 0. Now x equals 2. Two real equal roots we have which is 2 at x equals 2 the coefficient or the f of x it will be 0 at the right and at the left we have a positive sign why guys because will be the same sign of the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x squared is positive equals positive 1 now the sign of f of x it will be positive the inequality x squared minus 4x plus 4 is greater than 0 so the solution said guys just to take all the line which is a real number was why guys because we have here greater than or, or equal zero so we will take zero now the solution set equals r number two five minus two x is less than or equal x squared just move negative two x and positive 5 to the other side with inverse operation we get guys x squared plus 2x minus 5 is greater than 0 is greater than or equal 0 now the related function is f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 5 now to find the discriminant a equals 1 b equals 2 and c equals negative 5 by the same way b squared minus 4 is c equals 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times the value of c which is negative 5 we get b squared minus 4 is c equals 24 24 is greater than 0 means positive now we have two roots to find the two roots just the put off of x equals 0 we get x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0 now we can't factorize guys we will use here the general formula we studied before x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 is c over 2a now substitute and use the calculator x equals 1.45 and x equals negative 3.45 add the two roots or add x equals negative 3.45 and x equals 1.45 f of x equals what guys equals 0 don't forget negative 3.45 and 1.45 it will be shaded why guys because the sign here is less than or equal now guys the sign of the function it will be negative between the two roots we studied before at the right it will be positive at the left it will be positive now the solution set equals r guys difference the open interval negative 3.45 and 1.45 why guys because we have the sign or the sign which is positive it will be positive at all real numbers except guys the open interval negative 3.45 comma 1.45 let's have another example solve the inequality x plus 3 all squared plus 3 times x plus 3 minus 10 is greater than or equal 0 just to simplify the inequality by using distributive property and find the expansion of the expression x plus 3 all squared it will be x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 3x plus 9 minus 10 is greater than or equal 0 collect like terms guys 3x and 6x it will be 9x we get x squared plus 9x plus 8 is greater than or equal 0 step 1 guys just write the related function the related function it will be f of x equals the left hand side x squared plus 9x plus 8 now guys find the discriminant we have to find a b and c a equals 1 b equals 9 and c equals 8 now the discriminant b squared minus 4 is c it will be 9 squared minus 4 times the value of h which is 1 the value of c it will be a now the discriminant equals 41 41 is greater than 0 means what means positive so the two roots are real different roots step 2 find the sign of the function just put off of x equals 0 to find the two roots now we get x squared plus 9x plus 8 equals 0 by factorization we get x plus 1 times x plus 8 equals 0 now the two roots x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 8 draw the number line guys we get at x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 1 f of x equals 0 pay attention they will be shaded why guys because the sign of the inequality it will be greater than or equal now between the two roots the sign of the function it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared 
we studied before the coefficient of x squared is positive now it will be negative at the right it will be positive at the left it will be positive now the sign is greater than or equal guys now we have the solution set is all real numbers difference the open interval negative 8 and negative 1 because the sign here is greater than or equal let's have another example solve the inequality x plus 1 all squared is less than 4 times 2x minus 1 all squared first guys simplify the inequality it will be x squared squared plus 2x plus 1 is less than 4 times 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. By using distributive property, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 as it is, is less than 4 times 4x squared, it will be 16x squared minus 16x plus 4. Just move all the terms at the left hand side to the right hand side. We get guys 16x squared minus 16x plus 1. 4. This is the right hand side as it is. Minus x squared minus 2x minus 1 is greater than 0. Now simplify. Collect like terms guys. 16x squared minus x squared equals 15x squared and negative 16x. 2x it will be negative 8x. Now 4 minus 1 it will be 3. Now we get 15x squared minus 18x plus 3 is greater than 0. Find the value of the discriminant or step 1. Don't forget. Write the related function. The related function is 5x squared minus 6x plus 1 now a equals what 5 b equals negative 6 and c equals 1 we studied before we can find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac it will be negative 6 squared minus 4 times 5 times 1 it will be what guys 16 16 is greater than 0 it's positive now we have two roots to find the two roots just put off of x equals 0 we get the expression 5x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals 0 to make it easier just multiply 5 by the last term which is 1 it will be x squared minus 6x plus 5 now we can factorize it will be x minus 1 times x minus 5 we studied before don't forget guys to divide both brackets brackets by 5 we get x minus 1 over 5 times x minus 1 equals 0 now the two roots x equals 1 over 5 and x equals 1 you can use guys general formula by the way to find the two roots now draw the number line we have x equals what yes 1 over 5 and 1 at x equals 1 f of x equals 0 at x equals 1 over 5 f of x equals 0 between them guys the sign of the function it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared it will be negative at the left we have positive at the right we have positive now the inequality 5x squared minus 6x plus 1 is greater than 0 means positive now we can write the positive interval so the solution set equals r which is a real number difference what guys the interval or the closed interval 1 over 5 comma 1 because 1 over 5 and 1 are open the guys so 1 over 5 and 1 are not elements of the solution set if you like my video subscribe to my channel for more math videos thank you for watching see you soon guys